Numbers 7. When Moses finished setting up the holy tent, he gave it for service to the Lord. Moses poured olive oil on the tent and on everything used in the tent. He also poured oil on the altar and all its tools. In this way, he prepared them for service to the Lord. Then the leaders of Israel made offerings. These were the heads of the families and leaders of each tribe. They were the men who counted the people. They brought to the Lord six covered carts and twelve oxen. Each leader gave an ox. Every two leaders gave a cart. They gave these to the holy tent. The Lord said to Moses, Accept these gifts from the leaders. Use them in the work of the meeting tent. Give them to the Levites as they need them. So Moses accepted the carts and the oxen. He gave them to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonites. This was what they needed for their work. Then Moses gave four carts and eight oxen to the Merorites. This is what they needed for their work. Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest, directed the work of all of them. Moses did not give any oxen or carts to the Kohathites. They were to carry the holy things on their shoulders. This was their job. The oil was poured on the altar. Then the leaders brought their offerings to it to give to the Lord's service. The Lord had already told Moses, each day one leader must bring his gift. The gifts will make the altar ready for service to me. Each of the twelve leaders brought these gifts. Each leader brought one silver plate that weighed about three and a quarter pounds, and each one brought one silver bowl that weighed about one and three quarter pounds. These weights were set by the holy place measure. Each bowl and plate were filled with fine flour mixed with oil. This was for a grain offering. Each leader also brought a large gold dish that weighed about four ounces. It was filled with incense. Each leader also brought one young bull, one male sheep, and one male lamb a year old. These were for a burnt offering. Each leader also brought one male goat for a sin offering. Each leader brought two oxen, five male sheep, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. All these were sacrificed for a fellowship offering. On the first day, Nashon, son of Amminadab, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Judah. On the second day, Nathaniel, son of Zuar, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Issachar. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helon, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Zebulun. On the fourth day, Elizur, son of Shedur, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Reuben. On the fifth day, Shelemiel, son of Zerushadiah, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Simeon. On the sixth day, Elisaph, son of Deuel, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Gad. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amihud, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Ephraim. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Padazur, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Manasseh. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gibboni, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Benjamin. On the tenth day, Ahizer, son of Amishadai, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Dan. On the eleventh day, Pagadil, son of Okran, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Asher. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Inan, brought his gifts. He was the leader of the tribe of Naphtali. So these were the gifts from the Israelite leaders. Moses poured oil on the altar, and they brought their gifts to give the altar for service to the Lord. They brought 12 silver plates, 12 silver bowls, and 12 gold dishes. Each silver plate weighed about three and a quarter pounds, and each bowl weighed about one and three quarter pounds. All the silver plates and silver bowls together weighed about 60 pounds. This weight was set by the holy place measure. The twelve gold dishes filled with incense weighed four ounces each. Together, the gold dishes weighed about three pounds. The total number of animals for the burnt offering was twelve bulls, twelve male sheep, and twelve male lambs a year old. There was also a grain offering, and there were twelve male goats for a sin offering. The total number of animals 
for the fellowship offering was 24 bulls, 60 male sheep, 60 male goats, and 60 male lambs a year old. All these offerings were for giving the altar to the service of the Lord. This was after Moses had poured oil on it. Moses went into the meeting tent to speak with the Lord. He heard the Lord speaking to him. The voice was coming from between the two gold creatures with wings. They were above the lid of the Ark of the Covenant, and the Lord spoke with them. Psalm 42 For the director of music, a maskil of the sons of Korah. A deer thirsts for a stream of water. In the same way, I thirst for you, God. I thirst for the living God. Where can I go to meet with him? Day and night, my tears have been my food. People are always saying, where is your God? When I remember these things, I speak with a broken heart. I used to walk with the crowd. I led the happy crowd to God's temple with songs of praise. Why am I so sad? Why am I so upset? I should put my hope in God. I should keep praising him, my saviour and my God. I'm very sad. So I remember you while I'm in the land where the Jordan River begins. I will remember you while I'm near the Hermon Mountains and on the mountain of Mizar. Troubles have come again and again. They sound like waterfalls. Your waves are crashing all around me. The Lord shows his true love every day. At night I have a song and I pray to my living God. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why am I sad and troubled by my enemies? My enemies' insults make me feel as if my bones were broken. They are always saying, where is your God? Why am I so sad? Why am I so upset? I should put my hope in God. I should keep praising him, my saviour and my God. Psalm 43. God, defend me. Argue my case against those who don't follow you. Save me from liars and those who do evil. God, you are my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why am I sad and troubled by my enemies? Send me your light and truth. They will guide me. Lead me to your holy mountain. Lead me to where you live. I will go to the altar of God, to God who is my joy and happiness. I will praise you with a harp, God my God. Why am I so sad? Why am I so upset? I should put my hope in God. I should keep praising him, my saviour and my God. Song of Songs, chapter 5 I have entered my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my myrrh with my spices. I have eaten my honeycomb and my honey. I have drunk my wine and my milk. Eat, friends, and drink. Yes, drink deeply, lovers. I sleep, but my heart is awake. I hear my lover knocking. Open to me, my sister, my darling, my dove, my perfect one. My head is wet with dew, and my hair is wet with the dampness of the night. I have taken off my garment. I don't want to put it on again. I have washed my feet. I don't want to get them dirty again. My lover put his hand through the door opening. I felt excited inside. I got up to open the door for my lover. Myrrh was dripping from my hands. Myrrh was flowing from my fingers into the handles of the lock. I opened the door for my lover, but my lover had left. He was gone. When he had spoken, he had taken my breath away. I looked for him, but I could not find him. I called for him, but he did not answer me. The watchmen found me as they patrolled the city. They hit me. They hurt me. The guards on the wall took away my coat. I tell you, woman of Jerusalem, if you find my lover, tell him I am weak with love. Is your lover better than other lovers? You, the most beautiful of women? Is your lover better than other lovers? Is that why you talk like this? My lover is clean and tanned. He is the best of 10,000 men. His head is like the finest gold. His hair is wavy and black like a raven. His eyes are like doves by springs of water. 
They seem to be bathed in cream. They are set like jewels. His cheeks are like garden beds of spices. They smell like mounds of perfume. His lips are like lilies flowing with myrrh. His hands are like gold hinges filled with jewels. His body is like smooth ivory covered with sapphires. His legs are like large marble posts standing on bases of fine gold. He is tall like a cedar of Lebanon, like the best cedar trees. His mouth is sweet to kiss. I desire him very much. Yes, daughters of Jerusalem, this is my lover. This is my friend. Hebrews chapter 5 Every high priest is chosen from among men. He is given the work of going before God for them. He must offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He himself is weak, so he is able to be gentle with those who do not understand and who are doing wrong things. Because he is weak, the high priest must offer sacrifices for his own sins, and then he offers sacrifices for the sins of the people. To be a high priest is an honor, but no one chooses himself for this work. He must be called by God as Aaron was. So also Christ did not choose himself to have the honor of being a high priest. But God chose him. God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. And in another scripture God says, You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek. While Jesus lived on earth, he prayed to God and asked God for help. He prayed with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And his prayer was heard because he left it all up to God. Even though Jesus was the Son of God, he learned to obey by what he suffered. And he became our perfect high priest. He gives eternal salvation to all who obey him. And God made Jesus high priest, a priest like Melchizedek. We have much to say about this. But it's hard to explain because you are so slow to understand. You have had enough time so that by now you should be teachers. But you need someone to teach you again the first lessons of God's message. You still need the teaching that is like milk. You are not ready for solid food. Anyone who lives on milk is still a baby. He knows nothing about right teaching. But solid food is for those who are grown up. They are mature enough to know the difference between good and evil.